Queen's brutal assessment of Sophie Wessex on meeting, wouldn't stick out in crowd. Queen Elizabeth II gave her dry take on Sophie, Countess of Wessex shortly after she and Prince Edward began dating, a royal commentator claimed. Sophie Wessex is the wife of the Queen's youngest son, Prince Edward. Since the death of Prince Philip last year, the couple have become close confidants of the Queen. Their Bagshot Park Royal Residence is just a short drive from Her Majesty's Windsor Castle, now the monarch's permanent home. However, at the beginning of the Countess' relationship with Edward, Her Majesty had a rather blunt take on her son's then-girlfriend. Royal expert and columnist Richard K. disclosed Her Majesty's assessment while speaking during the 2020 Channel 5 documentary, Edward and Sophie, The Reluctant Royals. He said, the Queen famously observed once, rather dryly, of Sophie, she wouldn't stick out in a crowd. While this appears to be a brutal observation, Her Majesty's remark is said to have been well meant. Mr. K said, that might seem a rather cruel observation but in fact it was well meant and heartfelt. Unlike the other royal couples who had come before them, Edward and Sophie wanted to shy away from the spotlight. Julie Montague Viscountess Hintian Brook, said, the Queen does not like royal members to attract attention. So with Sophie, she saw that she definitely wasn't attracting as much attention as other members of the royal family. I think the Queen really liked that. The couple married at St. George's Chapel in 1999. Initially, the pair did not want to be full-time working royals, Sophie worked in public relations while Edward had founded his own production company. However, by 2002, both had stepped down from their careers to spend more time on charity work and supporting the Queen in her Golden Jubilee year. Edward left his role as production director and joined managing director of Ardent, which was later dissolved, and Sophie quit her job at RJH Public Relations, the PR firm she had founded with Murray Hargan. They have since become indispensable members of the royal family. Sophie is royal patron of over 70 charities and organizations, and her interests include supporting people with disabilities, the prevention of blindness in developing countries, agriculture and fashion. Meanwhile, the Earl undertakes public engagements for a large number of his own charities. His work has a particular focus on the development of the Duke of Edinburgh's award, which he took over following the death of his father. Now. The Wessexes make up part of the Queen's team of seven senior royals who help her with official engagements. The Queen is said to be particularly dependent on the Wessexes and is believed to be close with their two children, Lady Louise Windsor, 18 and James, Viscount Severn, 14. This year, Her Majesty celebrates her Platinum Jubilee, she is the first British monarch to reach this monumental milestone. As the monarch marks 70 years since she acceded to the throne, the Earl and Countess of Wessex are said to be central to the celebrations. The couple will be at the forefront of the festivities planned for the extended Platinum Jubilee weekend in June. To further celebrate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, Edward and Sophie are embarking on a royal tour of Antigua and Barbuda, Grenada, St. Lucia and St. Vincent and the Grenadines, a rare overseas tour for the couple.
to the throne, the Earl and Countess of Wessex are set to be central to the celebrations. The couple will be at the forefront of the festivities planned for the extended Platinum Jubilee weekend in June. To further celebrate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, Edward and Sophie are embarking on a royal tour of Antigua and Barbuda, Grenada, St. Lucia and St. Vincent and the Grenadines, a rare overseas tour for the couple.